Hey guys, this is Julie from Crafty Beach on YouTube and I have a fun fall Dollar Tree DIY. I'm going to use one of their wood sign blanks. I love these things. Um, it's just kind of a blank canvas to do whatever you want. Mine had kind of an ivory frame. I wanted it to look more wood. And so I just distressed mine with a little antique wax by Waverly and a baby wipe to give it a wood grain look. I'm also going to remove the hanger just because I didn't really want the wood beads. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover the back of the sign. I just printed out Hello Fall on a piece of white cardstock that I'm going to cut down into a perfect circle to go into that circle frame. It's just an option that you can do if you don't have a Cricut or you don't want to get your Cricut out to do some custom lettering that's going to look a little bit better. I do have this reprintable. I will try to include in the comments below if you'd like to recreate. So it just says hello fall like in dark brown. I Mod Podge it on there. I also Mod Podge on top to seal it. It does have like the little ridges, the different boards. And so I just use a razor blade and cut those. And so it still looks kind of like a palette board sign with the word hello fall on it. I also want to leave um, room because I'm going to add a pumpkin to the top, but I wanted to make sure the paper was good and sealed before I did that. This is one of the um, pumpkin stencils from the Dollar Tree. So I really only want that pumpkin um, design on there. So I'm just going to use one of their little stencil daubers and some pumpkin orange paint. Go over and paint the little pumpkin on there. Added a little red to the orange to uh, make some of the sections a little bit more colorful and kind of like a little bit of difference between the different sections. I'm also going to do the little pumpkin stem in like a tan color and it worked pretty well. I was pretty impressed with these stencils and it was really fun to do. I'm glad I did the orange um, pumpkin in two different shades because I really think it added a lot of depth to the project. For any bleeding, I'm just going to go back and touch up with white. I didn't have it taped down or anything, so I think it did a pretty good job regardless. Now I wanted to kind of look, um, you know, old farmhouse. So I went over the whole thing with some ivory and a dry brush, just distressing the whole thing to kind of give it that weathered look, like the word, the pumpkin, the frame, everything. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new hanger just by taking some twine, tying some knots and stapling that on the back of the frame. The frame that goes around the edges is totally wide enough for a staple gun. And so that makes that a little bit easier to reattach a hanger. This is how mine turned out. If you would like more Dollar Tree DIYs, be sure to check out my YouTube channel at Crafty Beach. And until next time, happy crafting.